Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Time Bomb channel. Uh, got a watch that's been uh, lent into the channel today. It's a little bit of a, um, a restoration project. Um, it came from auction, um, and it was uh, it, it looked like it had been left in a field almost. It was a absolutely filthy, and the uh, current owner has uh, spent quite a long time, you know, dismantling the watch, cleaning it, etc. But as you can see from this uh, photo from the from the auction website when it was where it was purchased, it's, it's looking really, really, uh, really beaten up, um, and hasn't clearly either had a lot of wear or just not re received a lot of TLC. Um, however, it's gone through uh, quite a lot of uh, cleaning uh, processes so far, and it, and um, it's not it's not finished yet, uh, but it's certainly looking uh, a million times better than it than it did do. Um, let me just pull the camera in a little closer there so we can see it. Yeah, so what we're looking at here then is uh, Seiko uh, so SK chrono Chronograph or Sports Chrono, Sports 100 Chrono. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a 7A38 uh, 7070, which I understand to be a little bit rarer than the 7A28. Um, however, not being an expert in the uh, in, in the in the chronos uh, from that time period, if if you guys know um, otherwise, again, absolutely, please do feel to correct me and uh, and drop me uh, a comment down below. Um, but as I say, it's looking much 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 healthier from those original photos and uh, has received a lot of TLC and and cleaning in the process. So. I think it's got a couple a couple of aspects still to go um, but before we get into those details let's just kick off with the specs so it's a 40 mils across it's then 12 mils in depth and about 43 mils only uh, north to south essentially then across the top here we've got this yeah i mean 25 mils <laughs> worth of measurement here but that's not the uh, the lugs themselves uh, a little bit narrower than down uh, probably around the 20 18 to 20 just inside there the three sub dials um on here as well um obviously again as you can see it's just a little bit recessed they've got a slightly different tone um, of color um, running seconds obviously at the bottom and then unfortunately this uh, the tenths here um, sadly has not quite uh, kicked off working again it's it's almost working uh, it keeps trying um, the other thing to note is that I think due to overuse the uh, chrono pusher here um, is, is somewhat depressed within to the watch and I think yeah that's just um, because of a lot of use uh, but yeah so just to action it yeah it just requires a little bit of it no you see Come on, off we go. So yeah, so off he goes, tripping around, um, more or less hitting those uh, those little markers. Um, yeah, fairly okay. <laughs> Give it a stop. Um, but as you can see there, the uh, the tenth is not is not shifting. Um, and then the return action uh, down here again. This button also just a little bit depressed. Um, come on, there we go. Beautiful movement back up to the top, and as you can see again, just due to the age, it's just sitting slightly off of that twelve o'clock marker again. But I imagine you know a proficient um, you know watch repairer is going to be able to to, to fix that one um, in in due course. Um, what else did I want to say? Yeah, I wanted to pick up on the uh, the bezel on this one because you've got almost like a, a, a semi bezel here. Um, it's 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 kind of understated from the side, but I really do like the profile uh, image of it, with just these cuts into the steel, um, and then obviously it's uh, bi-directional, and yeah, pretty pretty good for its age. Uh, this one coming from the eighties, um, yeah, still it's a fraction of play, but yeah, I mean you, you're going to get that in a watch of this age. Another thing that I liked about it was it was the bracelet again, very very retro. These sort of plate sections here, almost like um, uh, like the flanks of an armadillo. I think um, very very cool. But I imagine also an absolute nightmare if you uh, wanted to get some additional links uh, to extend this if you had a larger wrist. Um, but as I say, they really do. Um, yeah, I mean it's been as you can see quite quite beaten up in that sense. Uh, but they look really do very good. Let me just throw it on wrist for you one second. I was just going to say I'm wearing something completely inappropriate today. The uh, lime green goblin bile um, <laughs> G-Shock. Yeah, it doesn't match at all, does it? Anyway, let's just throw this one on wrist. 
it more or less fits because it's it's signed for the sized uh, for the current owner. But give you a perception there, my wrist seven and a quarter inch. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, very 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 retro retro appeal to it. Um, just a little bit beaten up, uh, but still. Uh, hopefully, yeah, as I say, the new owner will be able to give this a, a thorough um, and 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 proper polish, clean up, etc. Um, let's pop on to the cape. Well, we'll have a look at this. The clasp here again, pressed. I think a little bit cheap, but again, kind of standard. Um, and then obviously with your little SQ logo on the bottom there. And again, just just to usage. I mean, it clips in, but yeah, it's just a little easy to uh, to to release and then. Doesn't always clip, but again, that uh, might just require a little bit of rebending. Um, onto the case back then, and I have to say, I really do like the uh, the little uh, dual wave dual waves um, logo here. I think I actually prefer it to the uh, current wave logo for Seiko. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick this one up, um, but the uh, the uh, serial number on here is 641307. Um, and uh, to me dating it around 1986 and um, again the movement as I mentioned before is the uh, 7A3877 um, and again my, my understanding is it's a fraction rarer than that 28, 7A28 but again please do correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah nice little watch uh, to show and tell on here and hopefully as I say, the owner has done massive amounts of work cleaning it up and um, it's looking really quite nice and very, very usable at, the, at now. I also like, again, you know, matte finishing on the sides. You know, I'm not a massive fan of highly polished, um, so that sits really, really well. And also then matches completely uh, the steel here. So very, very nice piece. Um, best of luck to the owner of this one. Uh, I hope the restoration project continues and maybe you can share some photos with us um, as and when it's finished. All right, guys, thanks as always for your time and for your view. And of course, until next time, this is your host, The Bombardier, signing off. Cheers.